Welcome back everyone for today's video we are going to be playing against one of the new bots on chess.com for this great month of October. Now the bot in question is a bot called Angry Moo. Now those of you guys who have been following real news outside of the chess world you may be familiar with the famous baby pygmy hippo by the name of Moo Dang in Thailand which has gone completely viral and is reaching all corners of the globe. Now in honor of Moo Dang chess.com has created this new bot called angry moo i'm playing the hardest level which is currently rated 2000 as such i am going to be giving it some odds rather than playing regular chess now if it does really well against me i might finish with a game playing no odds and the bond cloud but let's see how it goes and we're going to start out with rook odds to begin all right, so first game, I'm giving it rook odds, and let's play the move e3. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to play a hippo opening, kind of fitting the memes, honestly. I'm going to play knight e2, g3, and d3. I could play the cow with knight g3, but I'm going to try to keep the position closed simply because I'm playing without a rook on a1. So let's go knight to d2. It plays knight c6. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that it is moving very, very quickly. Uh, let's go, I think I'm going to start with h3. I could play g3 first, but I'll do this order. Okay, now it goes queen c8, so let's go a3. Maybe some expansion on the queen side with bishop b2. I don't really think I'm good enough to beat it with rook odds, but let's see what I can do. I'm going to go king f1, king g1. Closes the king's queen side, which I rather like. Let's go here. It is moving instantly, by the way, so that is a sign um, that it is, it is kind of programmed a certain way to move instantly. Now, what I really need here is I needed to close the center of the board with d4. That's very disappointing. I'm waiting for d4 here. If I go knight f3, it's probably going to play e4. So let's go here. I'm trying to induce d4 at some point. Come on. You, you got it. You, you know you can go d4. Let's go back. Let's go here. I'm really trying to induce d4, but it's very hard to induce it. Okay, let's go back. Now d4 is not a move because the knight's on c6. Let's go here. Let's go queen b1. Come on. Sooner or later, you got to go d4. Let's go back. Trying to induce d4. I don't know why I can't get it to play d4. This is really annoying. Um, maybe I can play rook to d1. Now, it is moving instantly, obviously. So how do I get d4 is the question. Maybe I'll go here. I'm trying to force it to go d4. Maybe here. Maybe now it'll go d4. No, it still doesn't want to play d4. Oh, great. It goes e4. That's exactly the move that I was hoping it would not play. Um... Okie dokie do. Now if I take, it's going to take f3. I don't want that. I think I'm just going to go maybe here and takes. Goes bishop c3, which looks slightly wrong. Okay, now it goes d4. Uh, I don't really want to take the bishop, but I kind of don't have a choice. I can play knight f3 maybe and takes. Wait, what is that? That's a free pawn, no? Oh no, it's not a free pawn. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh, let's go d4. Uh-oh, if I take, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this has all gone wrong. Um, Let's go here. Let's take. Wait, maybe it hasn't gone all wrong, though. I can take on c5. I'm definitely worse here, but I feel like it's made a mistake. If I go queen e2, there's b3. Problem is, objectively, I'm still lost. Let's go here and try to go knight g4, maybe. Queen c4. Uh, I can take. I can also go knight g4, maybe. King g7. I'm wondering if I can sack the rook and go for glory. Doesn't quite work. I have knight d4. I can take and maybe go queen a1. Rook d1. Maybe I should just go... No, king h2. He has h5, which is bad. Um, I think I'm going to take and go here. Goes h5. So wait, if I take, there's rook d1. I take. I take. I take. Oh, shoot. Now I'm losing. Uh, I'm losing. Uh, I'm losing material. Maybe I can still draw this game, maybe. Okay, wait. If I take... Knight g5 looks kind of weird. That's actually a good move, probably. I have e5. I'm going to just go here. Shoot. I, I blundered this. I think I'm losing now. I was very close to winning for a move. Or not winning, but saving this game. But now I'm just going to lose, I think. Unless there's some magic. Here, maybe. Yeah, I think it's going to play its endgame too precisely, most likely. Uh, so I go here. Maybe like here. Try to do something. Okay, knight c7 looks slightly wrong. Maybe f5? 
Wait, maybe it's making some mistakes again. Maybe I can survive. Uh, rook a6 to cut off the knight. Okay, wait. Now I've got rook a8. I've got f6. I think f6 looks pretty... Uh, f6, knight, c7. I think f6 is pretty stable. Because now I can go like... Rook a8, pinning the knight. King f4. Rook c8. And now I feel like I'm okay. I can... Take. Go here. Okay, if I go e4, what's happening? Okay, wait. Rook c7 is a move. e5 is a move. I think I go here. Let's go here. Uh, I found rook e2, which is a very good move. Maybe rook e7. If I go e5, am I losing? e5, check. King f3, knight e4, takes knight g5. And if I go g6... Maybe I have king e5 here to attack the knight. Knight e4. King e5, knight e4 is a draw. Plays rook d2. So if I go rook a7, I also have g6 maybe? Maybe here? Okay, wait. I do have g6 and king e6 maybe? I'll go for it. Oh, it's got... Oh, it's got... The, wait, but I have g takes f7 and... So I go here, takes gf7, king d8 is probably a draw. If I go king, king g4, I lose knight e5, king g4, knight e5, king g3, rook f3 is losing. Maybe I can go here and back. Ah, uh, it's going to force a draw, I can't win. If I go here, check king h5. I think I'll try this. Oh, it's going to force... Go here. And now there's nothing I can nothing I can do. Yeah, it's a threefold repetition. Ah, that's unfortunate. I was close to have close to winning that towards the end, but I think it was always probably a draw, even back here. It's very close to winning. Very, very close. Somewhere around here, maybe e5 was a try, but still rook d4 and knight f5. Probably always a draw, but it felt like I had a chance to win. All right, so let's move on. Next game, we're going to play with knight odds now. Now, the fact that I was able to survive that game with rook odds, I suspect I should be able to win with knight odds. So let's let's play a similar opening. I'm going to play the hippo. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll play a normal setup this time. Because without the knight on b1, I feel like I should be able to get something decent. Let's go b3, maybe c4. Ah, I play z5. That's a good move. Let's go here. Go c4. I guess a3, b4, maybe. Maybe just queen c2. To hit the pawn. Okay, bishop b2 looks reasonable. b4 also looks reasonable. Takes. Is this not just a free pawn? It, it Or wait. There's bishop f5. So wait, e4, knight d4. Like a queen d1 or queen e2 maybe. Queen e2, bishop e4, f3, knight d4. Takes, takes, bishop e3. Could be okay. It could also be bad. Uh, how do I do this? Queen c3 doesn't look right. Queen c4 is probably the best option, but I don't really like it. Queen d1 is another option as well. I think I'm going to go here. Okay, now I will finish my de development with bishop b2, I guess, to guard the pawn. Okay, goes bishop e4. That's a very good move. I don't really want to trade. How do I do this, though? If I take, there's queen e4. Oh, huh, this is not very good. I can take and maybe go queen b1. I think I'll take and go queen b1. Try to trade the queens. Let's go here. Let's go here. Now I get rook c1. And I assume I should be pretty happy with this position. Even though I'm losing. I will keep offering the trade of the queens. Let's go b4 here. a6, logical. Maybe rook c4, rook c1. e4 is potentially a move, but I think I want to bring the king closer. Okay, let's go e4 here. Let's go f4. Let's go e5. How do I improve my position? Maybe king e4. Now I could go d5 here, maybe. Ah, d5 is f5. Ah, very nasty. Um I go a4. This looks reasonable with b5 as well. Maybe uh king d3, there's bishop e5, so I guess I'll go here. Rook d5 is of course a very good move. Um it kind of stops me in my tracks from what I wanted to do. That's actually very annoying. Um, I guess I'll go here. I think I need to move instantly, too. I feel like when I start moving instantly, 
It will make mistakes. Uh, what is this? Don't I have B5? Wait. I think when I move instantly, it actually blunders. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like the engine actually blunders when I move quicker. It's like I need to move instantly to trick it somehow. Now, I do have bishop b4. I do have rook b5. Bishop b4, rook d7. Takes, takes, rook b5 maybe? Okay, I'm going to go for this. Wait, what? Go here. Okay, so it's trying to force a draw again with rook e2. Um, Bishop b4 is probably a mistake. I don't know how, how I'm supposed to win this. I guess I'll go here. Wait, b takes a4 is not the move I expected. Wait, so if I take, take rook here. Okay, 2, e, wait, that looks like a mistake. Um, so I'll take, let's go here. If I go e6, uh, also I have rook e4. Wait a second. Rook a4, rook h2. E6, rook d6, e7. I think I'm going to go here on e7. Okay, it blunders. All right, it actually just blunders. Now I get the queen, I win the game. Okay, very weird blunder from it, but it is what it is. I take, and now I get the checkmate. Uh, just a classic ladder. Check and mate. Oh, wait, that's wait, that's not mate. What am I doing? Check and mate. There we go. All right, so we get a win with, uh, with the knight odds. Feels like most of the bots that I play in recent times, the big issue with them is that when I play them, they play well up to a point that I, but then at a certain moment, there's just like, there's a switch that turns on and it just, it's programmed to blunder. Um, so, all right, get the win um, in the second game. I guess let's do one more. And on this one, I'm going to follow the memes. I'm going to play the classic Bong Cloud. So let's go E4, pre-move King E2, and let's go for it. Okay, it plays the Sicilian, so the Bond Cloud is not the worst opening against uh, the Sicilian. Obviously, I'm more than happy to play an endgame. It's not going to trade and go into an endgame, because the king on e2 is too OP. Actually, maybe I'm going to get an endgame. No, but I still should trade the queens, obviously. Uh, I think I'm going to go... King e1 is a move. I think king e1 makes sense. I need to stop bishop c4 with the trade in the classic kebab on the 8th rank. Can obviously trade. What I do know is obviously it's going to blunder. Now that we've now that we've beaten a couple times, I can sense that that it will blunder at some point. So the goal is just to make sure I don't do anything too stupid. If I don't do anything too stupid, I should always be okay. So f5 is actually a very strong move. I think it's, it's a move that I think is quite good. I'm going to go here knight g3 maybe. Goes knight f6. Okay, that's not what I expected. Um, can obviously take and play knight g3. I'm going to take and go knight g3 here. Why not? Actually, there's also knight a3, but let's go here and attack the bishop. If he goes here, I can play bishop e2. Now, remember, this is a bond cloud. I moved the king to e2, so I do have to remember that later on um, down the road. So let's see. Maybe just like bishop e3 to hit the pawn. e6, logical. I think I'll go here. Maybe knight b3, maybe bishop b5. Okay, now the thing is I can't castle my king. So because I cannot castle my king here... It's going to require some technique. Um, I don't like bishop b5. Knight b3 is decent too. Knight b3 makes sense. Hit the pawn. Okay, now, now I get bishop b5 with tempo. I pin the tail on the donkey with bishop b5 here. And after rook c8, I should have a way to finish my development somehow here. Maybe king e2 and rook d1. Maybe king d2 and rook e1, but I don't really like that. I think I'm just going to go here and play rook d1 or rook e1. I think I'll go here and king f1 and manually castle my king. Let's manually castle the king out of the center. And now I think I'm doing quite well. Quite well being probably a little bit too too uh, generous, but I think I'm okay. Knight d3, I take. Now again, if the, the bot should eventually make a slight blunder, if the programming is to be believed, I'll go here. Trade goes back. So it has not made a blunder yet. It's playing pretty solid chess, actually. I don't really have a... Very good position. I can go knight c1. I think I'm going to go back. It's going to try to force... It's not going to try to force a draw. Okay, it goes rook d8. I think I'll go here. I'm attacking the pawn. Let's go here and trade. Ah, it goes bishop b1, which is a very nasty... That's actually a very, very good move. Um, And now I have actually big problems here. Big problems, potentially. I guess I'll go a3 and knight a1, maybe? It's, it's cleanly outplaying me, this game. It's actually just completely outplaying me. Um, 
But again, it should eventually make a blunder if, if the programming is to be believed based on the previous games. Like, it should eventually make a blunder. So I guess I'll go here and I'll take and try to go b3 to trap the bishop, maybe? Because now b3 traps the bishop and my opponent probably doesn't want to do it Bobby Fisher. Yeah, it goes there. But now I can kick the bishop once I get c4. Should not really be in danger, although bishop d3 is a dangerous move. Okay, goes knight f4. I go c4, bishop g6, rook d1. I'm still getting outplayed in this game. I'm going to go c4. I'm still getting pretty much outplayed. Wait, what? Oh, if I take it, takes and it's 92 at the fork. Oh, wow. That's actually a great move. And yeah, I'm actually getting outplayed here. I'm getting outplayed significantly uh, in this Bond Cloud game. I'm just cleanly getting outplayed. Actually, what do I even do here to avoid losing? Uh, Bishop e4 is a very nasty move, and I think I'm close to lost, weirdly enough. I mean, okay, I guess I'll take... I'm going to start moving quickly, because I remember when I moved quickly, it did blunder before. Oh, it's not moving instantly here. So let's go knight c2, knight e3 or knight e1. Okay, let's go here. Oh, great. Now it plays knight b2, or knight g2, I should say. And I think I'm actually going to lose this game. Ugh. Hmm. This is not looking very good. This, in fact, is looking very bad. Probably I just lose here. Maybe I can go, like, B4 and pray. Takes, I'll take. If I check King F7, I've got nothing I can do. If I go Rook B5, I lose. I play Knight A1, Knight B3, but then there's Knight F4. I mean... This is actually just losing. I'm getting just completely destroyed in this game. Not a whole lot to really to say. It's getting destroyed. I guess I'll go here and try to take the pawn on c5. Wow, rook d2. Kind of wonder if somehow in the custom mode where you play with odds, the bot actually plays at a weaker level is what I'm wondering. I guess I'll go here and knight here. No, there's knight f4, which is actually just checkmate. Or this one. Actually, now this just got messed up and I can't refresh. Um, I'm going to get checkmated here. There's not actually a whole lot I can do. Yeah, there's rook g2. It's just checkmate next turn. Um, I guess let's go here. It's, it's just forced checkmate in three. Yeah, I wonder actually if the bot plays differently somehow. Because it played a pretty much a perfect game here. And I just get checkmated. Knight f1 is checkmate. Wow. It played a, um, a very, very, very impressive game. That almost seems stronger than in the odds game. So let's do one more. I'm going to play it on... Um, I'm going to play regular string. I'm just going to play a hippo. Nothing nothing fancy. Just because I want to see if the level is varying somehow. Okay. Because when I play the bond cloud, it actually just crushed me. So maybe, maybe like a lot of the other recent bots, when you play a bond cloud, it's programmed to crush you. And if you play any other normal standard opening, it's actually not going. It's going to play at a much lower level, perhaps. Let's build a big white center here. Okay, E5 is actually, I think, a, ah, E5 is a good move. Maybe I got a little bit too cocky here. Because now, if I go D5, there's bishop C5, which could be an issue. Wait, this is actually not easy. Wait, so if I take, there's knight G4. Go h3, maybe? Ooh, this is actually very dangerous. Knight b5 is a move to... I think I'm going to go knight b5 and a4 to hook the horse. I can take with the knight, play bishop e3. Okay, it takes. My rook on g1 is terrible. Maybe I have bishop f4 to hit the pawn. There's d6. Okay, now I'll trade the queens and try to play an end game. Not outplaying it again. So maybe, maybe there's something in the level where it varies depending on what the strength is. Because this game, I'm not even better. I'll go b3. Castle. Knight g4. That should be a slight mistake. I, go f I mean, maybe there's knight f2, but probably not. Ah, it's going for this one. Let's go here. Knight h3. I'll take. I'm actually not better here at all. I'll go c4, stop d5, maybe knight b5, maybe bishop e3. I also have g4 somewhere, like g4, h5, knight f5 maybe. Knight b5 is also an option. Maybe just rook d3, knight b5. Though. This makes a lot of sense. Knight b5 to hit the pawns, bishop d2 here. Maybe just like rook d1 followed by knight b5. 
Okay, b6 logical. I think I'll go here knight c3 maybe. G5. I guess I'll go here knight c3 anyway. Okay, plays f5, which is a very good move as well. I'm actually wondering if somehow this bot has a varying level. Because it's playing a lot better in these non-odds games than it was in the odds games. So I guess I'll go rook to e1. Bishop d8. Hmm. Could play rook e3 here. So I'll go here. If f4, I just take. If takes, I take. Yeah, it's playing so much better in these games than it was before. Uh, I can obviously take, I guess, and take. See what it does. Bishop f5, I go g4, I think. To fix the fix the pawns here, there's one weakness on this diagonal. Knight d5 is move, h3 also move. Knight d5 makes sense, also doesn't make sense. Knight d5, c6, probably not correct. Let's go here, maybe bishop c3 next move, after bishop f6, h3 of course. Just trade. Somehow, yeah, this bot is playing a lot better. Um, I guess I'll go here and king d2. This bot's playing a lot better in the non-odds games. So maybe it's something in the programming or in the settings for, for like just when you're playing with odds versus regular because I'm not actually better in this game. Not even remotely close to better. Uh, I can go king e1. I can also go bishop d4. I think I'm going to go here knight d4. Yeah, this is I'm not even better in this game. Not not even close to being better. I guess I'll go here in knight b5 maybe. Probably it'll take, and then I take back with the knight and go knight d5 or something. Wow, it's actually just outplaying me. So I think the spot, whatever the rating it's at, is clearly wrong. Uh, I'll go here. King c5, I can just take. Goes bishop c2. Rookie seven, there's king c5. I go b4, bishop eight. Wait, b4, it just takes, then goes king c5. Oof, this is hard. This spot is actually very tough. Um, I might just be losing this game, which is kind of insane, actually. Probably not, because rook c7. Rook c7, king c5, takes king d4. King f1. I mean, I think I have to go for this, actually. Yeah, it's not blundering at all. Not even remotely close to blundering. Okay, I run my king out. I can't take right away because there's like bishop d3 and king e3. I guess I take. It was bishop d1. Okay, so I have c5 here maybe. c5, bishop f3 takes. King e3, check. Bishop e4, knight d5, king f3. Wow, this is very dank. Um, c5 is the move that I kind of want to play here. Well, let's see. c5, bishop f3, cd6. King e3, check. Bishop e4, knight d5. King f3, check. King g3, d7 wins. King g4, d7 wins. Oh, well, with c5 takes, check. King here. Oh, this is actually very tricky. c5 takes, check. King e3, knight c4. King f3, rook d3. King g4, rook d1. Should be fine. I'm going to go for this. I don't think this should really be a problem. Bishop e2, I have king g1. It goes rook b2. Wow. That's not even a move that I considered as being possible. Uh, if I go rook c6, takes rook d6. Wow. Rook b2 is a crazy good move. And I think already here... Did I somehow mess this up? I might not be winning even anymore. Maybe winning's too strong a word, but I'm not even sure that I'm drawing this. I go knight c8, there's bishop f3, knight d6. I think I have to go here and try to desperately save the game. Goes bishop, oh, bishop e2, I didn't even see that move. Let's go here. Takes, and yeah, now, now, I'm, now I'm probably not even not even drawing this game. That's how bad this position is. Because I go here. King g3. B3. Okay, so I can play knight B5. I can also go knight F5. But somehow I'm still losing. I'm just losing here, I think. This is insane, actually. I'm just getting clean out played in all these games. Um, I guess I can go rook F7. I can also go knight F5 here. I can also go knight B5. I think I'm just lost. I think I'm just lost. Uh, I think I'm actually just completely lost. Amazing. 
think I have to go like here and the knight b5 and some rook f5. And if I'm lucky, I can save this. Maybe I go here, c3, knight b5, then it sacks. Let's go check. Maybe here, and knight d4. This will go here, knight c6. I mean, I'm desperately trying to hang on. Goes king a3, of course, which is another excellent move. I guess I have knight e5 and knight c4 to maybe save the game. Bishop b3, that is a, another ridiculous move. Um, take. What is this? What is this? What is going on? This bot is not playing like a... Not playing like a... Um, Wow, it is not playing like a 2,000 level bot. I wonder if there's some shift in the, the level. I guess I'll take. Okay, if I go... Oh, did I just... Wait, did I just blunder? Oh, I just blundered this. I'm losing... Oh, I'm losing by one tempo. Wow. Yeah, I lose by one tempo. So this bot clearly is fluctuating. Okay, let's play one more, one last one. This time I'm going to take it super serious. Like, no nonsense, I'm going to be very serious about this game. Because I don't think this bot is 2,000, actually, now that I'm playing it. I don't think it's a 2,000-level bot. So I'm going to play a, a proper hippopotamus setup this time. Let's go H3, G3. This game I'm going to be super serious, because now I, I don't think it's a 2,000-level bot. It played that end game amazingly well, like ridiculously well. So I'm going to be super serious now this time. No nonsense. Because I don't think that this bot is 2,000 anymore. I'll go E4. Let's go here. This castle. Okay, now it now it lets me get a 5. Now I'm just going to attack on the king side. Let's go G4. Let's go here. Knight G3, of course. Should be excellent. Bishop c1 and h4, I suppose. Let's go here. I'm gonna move my rook, move the bishop. Okay, it goes king h8, which is actually a pretty good move. Um maybe just rook g1 and bishop f1 here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go h4 very soon. Let's go h4. Let's go here. Let's go here now 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 i've got the ideal setup um let's go here connect everything a g5 incoming let's go g5 attack logical actually i've got to be very i i do need to be a little bit careful because g6 i need f6 here let's take let's go here and rook h2 of course okay bishop e8 Let's go f6. Oh, let's take. Okay, now now this should just be pretty simply winning. Don't I have check, check and takes. Very weird. Huh. The spot has me very confused. Now that I'm super serious, it blunders and loses. Very, very strange. Let's just sack the knight, go bishop h6, takes and win the game. Spot seems to have fluctuating levels. So on the one hand, this bot can play at a very high level. On the other hand, it can also play like a play like a beginner. Like most bots, frankly. I'll play knight f5 here. Actually, I'll just take. I'll, I'll just give up the queen. It doesn't matter. Because now I've got two rooks, and the rest is very basic. Um, let's just take. Just go here. Attack the bishop. Knight f5, and everything wins. I can even pre-move it. I could have sacked the rook and won the game that way, too. But now I'm just going to set up a... Uh, I think I'm just going to set up a checkmate with a ladder here with rook g1, rook g6. Let's go here. I don't think it can stop it. Let's go here. I'm going to go rook g2 and rook g6. Basically, the, the pieces coordinate. Knight covers the squares. Bishop covers the squares. King can't get out. So I just take and then it's checkmate. Hmm. Very strange. Very, very strange. Very peculiar, as they would say. Or interesting, another way of putting it. This bot seems to be capable of playing at a very high level, but then also, if you play certain types of openings, it doesn't respond as well. So I'm not really sure what to make of this box. When I played the odds, I went easily. Then I thought I was weak, and I played without odds. Couldn't win with the Bonk Couldn't win a normal game. Then I get serious, and I win. So hard to judge. Um, 
what the actual level of the spot is. Um, but this is one of the new bots on chess.com for the month of October. This, of course, is the angry move bot rated as hard. Now, we saw it rank 2000. I'm going to guess that objectively, it's probably around 25, 2600. But if it gets a certain type of position, it can also play perfectly in the late middle game and the end game. Like that previous game, the fourth game I played was just ridiculously strong. But at any rate, this is one of the new bots on chess.com. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of me playing against the new bot angry move for the month of October. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you smash that subscribe button below. And we'll be back with some more great recaps from the Global Chess League, as well as playing against all these devious bots on chess.com in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.